Notice from Director Nysmith. The following article is under an ongoing investigation, having appeared in the Site-59 database without any determinable origin and locking any and all edits, as well as rescinding the clearance level prerequisites for viewing. The possibility of cognitohazardous properties and or malicious code have not yet been ruled out. Proceed with caution. Item number SCP-3319 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-3319 is to be constantly monitored from a remote observation post in the neighboring mountains. Any changes in SCP-3319 activity are to be reported immediately to Dr. Stuyvesant. Foundation web crawler Trinidad-1 is to expunge any images of SCP-3319 from satellite footage. While civilian access to SCP-3319 is unlikely due to the remote location, a polar bear sanctuary is to be used as a front to block access. SCP-3319 is a white metallic object located on Island in northern Nunavut, Canada, 10 meters in diameter and extending 5 meters above the ground in a dome-shaped protrusion. While the nature, origin, and age of this object are not entirely understood, Radar analysis have shown that a buried portion of the item extends to over 15 kilometers underneath the island. In addition, two black crescent moon symbols have been painted on the side of SCP-3319, over an inscription reading, You are watched. You are protected. You are loved. Analysis of SCP-3319 is limited by its anomalous effect, and that any object that approaches within 500 meters disappears. As of May 23, 2537, this article has been subjected to emergency revisions. Item number SCP-3319 Object Class Kusum Special Containment Procedures By order of the O4 Council, as of May 23, 2537, containment of SCP-3319 is no longer a priority, and the object is to be left to its own devices. All staff assigned to SCP-3319 are to report to the Akalawit Defense Outpost and await further instructions for the ongoing effort to neutralize SCP-001. SCP-3319 is a white metallic object located on Island in northern Nunavut, Canada, 10 meters in diameter and extending 5 meters above the ground in a dome-shaped protrusion. While the nature of this object is not entirely understood, Radar analysis has shown that a buried portion of the item extends over 15 kilometers underneath the island. In addition, two black crescent moon symbols have been painted on the side of SCP-3319, over an inscription reading, You are watched. You are protected. You are loved. Analysis of SCP-3319 is limited by its anomalous effect, and that any object that approaches within 500 meters disappears. There is no evidence that SCP-3319 is of any strategic value to the Foundation against SCP-001. As of July 18, 2560, this article has been subjected to additional revisions. Item number SCP-3319 Object Class Neutralized Special Containment Procedures Irrelevant Description SCP-3319 was a white metallic object located on Island in northern Nunavut, Canada, 10 meters in diameter and extending 5 meters above the ground in a dome-shaped protrusion. While active, any object that approached within 500 meters disappeared. After SCP-001 flooding of the Arctic Circle on July 18, 2560, SCP-3319 has caused no discernible disappearances of approaching floodwaters. Therefore, SCP-3319 has been declared neutralized. Redirecting. As of 1739, on April 19, 2577, SCP-001 reached the final phase of its ascension cycle. ZK-class reality failure imminent, along with the extinction of the surviving 40 million approximate humans. All staff are advised to remain calm and find a comfortable place to sleep during the erasure process. As of April 20, 2577, this article has been revised. Item number SCP-3319 
Object class pending. Special containment procedures pending. Description. Seismic activity detected near the location of SCP-3319, previously believed to have been neutralized, coincides with the apparent abortion of Scenario ZK-001, among other effects, which have been given the provisional designation of Incident-3319. Further updates forthcoming. The Administrator is expected to give a formal address to the Foundation on SCP-3319 at 2200 on April 20, 2577. Correlation doesn't equal causation. Do we have any further evidence besides seismic activity, which wasn't unusual for SCP-001 rampages, that SCP-3319 is responsible for this? A transmission came in from satellite footage just before the sky went green. Something huge, white and oblong was leaving Earth's orbit from the vicinity of the North Pole. It was covered in those double moon insignias. It opened, more accurately, blossomed and the footage went dead. I see. Could you get anything from any further Foundation satellites? No luck. We've got dead air all around. It's likely they didn't survive the trip. Look, I'm going to go out on a limb here with a hypothesis. The entire planet had been taken somewhere else, likely extra-dimensional. Any signs of SCP-001? Seems to have slipped off the radar for now. If what Dr. Keller is saying is correct, I think SCP-3319 might have saved our lives and left SCP-001 drifting off in the void it created. There are no signs of any contained object anywhere. O-419 just reported a simultaneous 100% breach of all tangible skips. I tried slitting my wrist before the ZK, and now I'm up to my knees in this office of my own blood healing factor? Skin healed but blood too fast. Where is all this extra blood coming from? It doesn't even hurt at this point. This is just silly. Keyboard is breaking. It's drenched too much blood. Time and a place for your jokes, John. Wait. I've been hearing similar reports at Site-19. Someone took a cyanide pill just after Incident-3319. They've been vomiting blood for at least an hour now. Put some duct tape over it. That'll work for dammers. Foundation. We can afford you five answers. 1. Due to the localized void collapse and likelihood of contagion, Earth, Multiversal Iteration 2M, and all relevant and welcomed species and natural resources, as cataloged in Two Moons BOLR 2015, have been annexed and transposed to safe territories under Two Moons jurisdiction, namely, Post Mortem Vector 44, Korbenik. 2. Death is not currently possible. This is technically an afterlife. 3. Under no circumstances is your presence to be brought the attention of the Striders, or any parties associated with the Bogle Mountain Prefecture. 4. We love you. 5. Good luck. Get in the dropships! Get in the dropships! Christ Almighty, get in the fucking dropships, okay? O4 Command isn't listening. Either they're too busy or don't care. The Two Moons guys are trying to save us, okay? And we keep shooting at them. What the fuck, guys? Okay. 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 Look. There's something non-human down there. I mean, in the sky ground. We're a moon now, okay? About to harvest us for the Witch Queen's banquet. And how the fuck do those words in succession make you think escaping the planet is a bad idea? What the fu- Notice. Edits to SCP-3319 have been locked due to repeated vandalism attempts. Year 1. Earth-2M captured. Apex Threat-00148 neutralized. Rescue attempt met with mass human resistance. Civilian central government forbids entry to escape dropships. Central Cabal votes for forcible apprehension measures of human civilians 7-5, citing danger from Strider attacks. Jalakara vetoes, citing improper submission formatting. Appeal not sought. Year 2. Vogel Mountain Strider Reservation alerted to mass human presence. Declaration of feasting announced by Hikati Bogle. Protectionary forces summoned to Earth 2M. Central Cabal votes for forcible apprehension measures of human civilians 10 to 2, citing danger from Strider attacks. Jarkara vetoes, citing failure to appeal initial veto. Further appeals forbidden. 
Year 3-9 Third Harvesting War Year 6 Jalakara uses flat measure to enact forcible apprehension measures of human civilians, citing danger from strider attacks. 43 humans rescued in total, employed with two moons at base mob as entry-level Thrall-class contracted liaisons, with opportunity for advancement after 200 years. Year 6, Day 328 Ikati Bogle interrupts rescue measures with the Forbidden Hymn of Ur temporarily destabilizing the gravitational field of Earth M2. 87% of planet's crust falls to the surface of northeastern Korbanek, indefinitely destabilizing the province of Elysium. 43,297,553 remaining humans harvested by Strider Army for eternal digestion. Elysium is heretofore considered irreparable. Year 7 to Year 9, Jalakara completes divine intervention application receives unanimous approval from the Central Cabal, and descends from the Impenetrable to enact redemptionary measures against the Striders. 75% of Strider population converted to Substance 4139, Shrieking Puddle of Iron. Hikati Bogle sentenced to but allowed to continue human harvesting operations due to Ethics Dossier Clause 9. Year 10 Natural resources harvesting begins on former Earth 2M. Year 11, Two Moons Initiative renamed Three Moons Initiative, due to the presence of an additional moon over Korbanek. Glory to Jalakara of the Impenetrable, host and benefactor to mankind. Item number SCP-3319 Object Class Thaumiel Special Containment Procedures SCP-3319 is to be constantly monitored from a remote observation post in the neighboring mountains. Any changes in SCP-3319 activity are to be reported immediately to Dr. Nysmith. Foundation web crawler Trinidad-1 is to expunge any images of SCP-3319 from satellite footage. While civilian access to SCP-3319 is unlikely due to the remote location, a polar bear sanctuary is to be used as a front to block access. In the event of an impending K-Class scenario, Emergency Dossier 3319 is to be unsealed and distributed to O5 Command for further instructions. SCP-3319 is a white metallic object located on Island, in northern Nunavut, Canada, 10 meters in diameter and extending 5 meters above the ground in a dome-shaped protrusion. While the age of this object is not entirely understood, Radar analysis has shown that a buried portion of the item extends to over 15 kilometers underneath the island. In addition, three black crescent moon symbols have been painted on the side of SCP-3319 over an inscription reading, You are watched. You are protected. You are loved. Analysis of SCP-3319 is limited by its anomalous effect, in that any object that approaches within 500 meters disappears. In addition, SCP-3319 functions as an automatic, extra-dimensional teleport mechanism for Earth in the event of an impending K-Class scenario. Further information has been outlined in Emergency Dossier 3319 and restricted until it is opened. Addendum Dr. Nysmith, you'll find this emergency dossier in your thumb drive, the one with all the keychains. Foundation For the God's sake, we do want to keep humanity safe. Ever since we escaped on that first moon, that's been our goal. But let's be honest, humanity keeps repeating the same mistakes that got us here in the first place. Do your job, because if you don't, we'll do it for you, and we have no idea what the fuck we're doing. Three Moons <laughs>